This week on Geeks on Trial, we're coming at you in person, together, in the same room, to talk about the soda wars. Things are heating up between Dr. Pepper and Pepsi. Then, our important case of today, waiting in line behind someone who's slow when you gotta get somewhere. We're gonna talk about what we think and what the correct etiquette is in that situation. Stay tuned for our verdicts. What you are listening to is real. The parties involved are not cool. They are actual geeks with a case pending in the court of public opinion. The party's case has been dismissed, and the dispute will be settled here on our podcast. There will be no lawyers. There will be no witness testimony. The judge's decisions are final. Hello, I'm Judge Ivan. I'm Judge Jonathan, and this is Geeks on Trial. Today's case, Life in the Slow Lane. Hello and welcome to Geeks on Trial. This is the podcast where we settle petty disputes between actual geeks over movies, video games, board games, and more. If you'd like to submit your own geeky case for a future episode, you can email us at geeksontrial at gmail.com. You can also support the show over at patreon.com slash geeksontrial for just five bucks a month where you gain early access to all of our episodes plus a brand new show we call Sidebar. It's not new anymore, but you know. <laughs> it's not new it's at always, all. <laughs> it's always new to me. We've only been recording it for what, like six months at this mm-hmm. point? Uh, uh, maybe a year. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You uh, you have malaria or typhoid. What is it? I have not gotten better, but my fever went away. Great. But, but you are, but you're right next to me. So in case there's any lingering germs, I'm going to get them. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm not. there's no illness. I don't have COVID. I don't have malaria. I do have a touch... Smallpox? Um, oh, well, that's fine. We yeah. all do. Uh, for anyone who's listening and not watching, we are recording this uh, a rare occasion in the same room together. Yep. We're usually remote. Yep. So our timing will be a lot Slower. better. Uh, so you can look forward to that this episode. Uh, should be exciting. Also, you will notice my microphone is going to be falling and I'm going to be adjusting right. it constantly. Hopefully it doesn't. Let's see if it makes a terrible noise. Hold on. Let's see right now. And that made a noise. Well, yeah, that no, was it was there. pretty bad. And another great thing, since so we're just pointing out stuff, <laughs> this is a free glimpse at my legs. No, well, I'm hoping we're going to, you know, there's too much mm. knee. Maybe maybe we'll zoom. This is, this is our summer robes. <laughs> I don't want to, yeah, these are our summer robes. All right, but we got a big show today. Big show, giant show. It's an okay show. One of the biggest. Have you, do you, what what sodas do you drink? Are <laughs> Shut you a, the hell Are you up. a Coke drinker? A Shut Pepsi your drinker, mouth. <laughs> or do you like Dr. Pepper? What's important is... What America drinks, mm. uh, because Apple? well, yeah, that's the that's the big one. But when it comes to that, ooh, that sweet sugary corn syrup, uh, you know, Coca Cola is number one. But there's been big news in the soda world the past couple of weeks. Yes, if you had, you know, typically I think everyone would assume after Coke, the the classic number two, second Sprite. best, is Pepsi. Oh, you idiot, Snapple. But not anymore. As of this year, yes. just recently. Dr. Pepper has overcome Pepsi for second place. Well, it makes sense. You know, we're, we're getting more educated in our in our lives, so we need a doctor to go up <laughs> this in the is, ranks. People are like, please, I can't I afford need a doctor. healthcare. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is it our says only medical. doctor on it. Well, that's how I've been treating this, is why I'm not getting better. Yeah, I would not recommend Dr. Pepper mm. for what you're going through. Maybe, yeah, you know. Um, now, do, you, are, do you like Dr. Pepper? I love Dr. Pepper. Me too. Dr. Pepper is like, if I go to a place. <laughs> We're not sponsored, by the way. No, but. <laughs> we would be. Um, either one of our shows. This should my snack. Whatever. So um, Dr. Pepper is up there with like my one of my favorite sodas. Um, <laughs> That's fine. Just keep talking. <laughs> um, because I, I like, because like it has flavor to it, unlike Coca-Cola and unlike like Pepsi, which is just, it's sugar. Your tasting is sugar, basically. In, in, I mean, there's other flavors, but it's, like, it's basically a sugar cola. Yeah. Where but, Dr. Pepper has like a different thing. I put that up there with like a root beer or like a Pib. Mm, oh, well, well, Pib isn't Mr. Pib. Based, well, now it's Pib Extra. Right. But it's basically, that is Dr. Pepper. Pib is technically like, I mean, it's different, but that's the closest analog. So the only reason why Dr. Pepper isn't owned by Coke or Pepsi is because there's like a um, monopoly thing, so they can't own it. Because they haven't made that and they've tried over the years, which is Pib, Pib Extra, whatever, is supposed to be a Dr. Pepper ripoff. That's why it's Mr. Pib, you know. Mm-hmm, and I think right. like um, Coke or the other one tried to make a different, because I don't know who owns Pib. I don't know if it's Coke or Pepsi. <laughs> it's, it's the Pib Corporation. But I'm pretty Big sure. Pib. But did you know, like, so it makes, so when you think of Dr. Pepper, you just think it's one soda. It's your Dr. Pepper, Diet Dr. Pepper. But they're owned by like the Keurig company. Because Keurig, huh. Snapple, and Dr. Pepper is one organization. 
So it's like, yeah, the, 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 those are three giant beverage corporations, so it wouldn't make sense. Did you say they... Snapple? Yeah. I thought Coke owned Snapple. Are you sure? No. Look it up right now. All right. <laughs> I thought Snapple was a Coke thing, but I could be wrong. Or it could have changed hands. Um, yeah, uh, but what's really fascinating about this is that, you know, it's nothing. Well, let's be honest. This is not fascinating. Keurig Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, <laughs> I didn't notice the one word he didn't say was Snapple, but it is on top there. Who owns, I, who owns Snapple? Oh, I, well, yeah, I didn't see what you searched for. You just uh, said Keurig Dr. Pepper. Snapple like, is owned by Snapple Beverage Corp, a Keurig Dr. Pepper company. Well, there you go. What well, do I know? Well, it makes sense because the Coke Freestyle machines don't have Snapple. They have like do they green have? leaf, gold leaf, gold Oh, they do have tea somebody, in them? Some of them. Mm, interesting. But yeah, so if you think about it, the, the giant organization, like Coke doesn't own, or they might, Coke or Pepsi doesn't own, like, a coffee manufacturer, but, like, Keurig is a pretty big thing as of the last 15, 20 years because, like, the individual coffee things have hit the market everywhere, and every house has or every office has a Keurig machine. So it's probably not even Dr. Pepper that's raising that. It's probably the company as a whole. But it is Dr. Pepper, isn't it? (laughs) Isn't this they're just literally measuring Dr. Pepper's popularity? It's probably the money, like in general. But, <laughs> but I don't think it's the company. I think they're saying Dr. Pepper is huh. the soda, is the number two soda. Not, okay. Because Sprite is lower down the list. It's not like in, lumped up with Coke. Okay, because when I think of like Coke and Pepsi, I think of like no, PepsiCo. There, Coke. Yeah, that's not what this is saying. This is the, the flavors huh. themselves, the individual sodas. Dr. Pepper is numero dos. Okay, but still, it's still. Took like, out Pepsi. But it still like it makes sense because like Pepsi. <laughs> Is basically the same as, I mean, there's a difference, but they're both cola sodas. So there Mm. should be something between the two of them. Mm -hmm. Because like, oh, what are your top, what are your favorite things? Oh, cola, cola. (laughs) Oh, you're stupid, aren't you? Well, I feel like it's more that it's like half of the world is is Pepsi, half of the world is Team Coke. Dr. Pepper is, basically, Coke and Pepsi are Democrat and Republican, and Dr. Pepper is third-party candidate swooping in. And it's time for a change. (laughs) The, Dr. Pepper's Bernie Ross Sanders okay. coming in with a steel chair. <laughs> All right, now here's what I want to do. Because I have a list of the top 10 soda brands. What, uh, what's next? Can you guess? Can we play a little family feud right now? Can you figure out what what those top soda brands are? I'm going to say number, so one, Coke, two, Dr. Pepper, three, Pepsi. Are we counting in the diet varietals in that? Or is Coke include Diet Coke? Um... Uh, no, those would be separate things. So they're separate things. Okay. So I'm going to say number four is Diet Coke. What did you say? Number. Oh, sorry. According. Oh, this is by last year. I don't know. I'm looking at USA Today. They say as of last year, Dr. Pepper and Pepsi are technically put it tied at number two. Okay, I don't know. Whatever. So number. What did you say? Number three is say what number three is. You think Diet Coke? Diet Coke. Well, okay. Wouldn't that be number four? <laughs> No, they're, I don't, yes. By your 2023, whatever. I don't know. They made this list and numbered it, not me. Okay. <laughs> they put, all right, Diet Coke is at number four. So it's the next one. But line. there's something else at number three. Sprite. Yep, it's Sprite. You're doing good. Number. Okay. What about, what's next? Number, so the next one would be, um, oh, I don't know, like an orange, so Fanta. Fanta's on the list, but it's lower down. Okay. I don't going to, I don't Oh, it is number. They did a stupid thing. They numbered this list Are you terribly. On Buzzfeed? It's USA Today. They did oh. a. They no, They only. They said the top ten, and but they only. They numbered it to nine, and then number two is two sodas, and the, that should just be. It, like the next one should be. They just screwed it up. Can newspaper companies <laughs> stop being in charge of digital? You notice media? that I'm hunching down like Gollum as, as the microphone it gets makes lower. Me look taller. <laughs> we'll readjust it. Don't worry. So. Okay, so what, what next what, up? Everyone loves this. Play along at home. Okay. Uh, next up after so Diet Coke, Diet it's Coke, not Fanta. Diet Pepsi. No, Diet Pepsi is down number seven or eight, depending on how you number lists. Barks Barks root beer. There's no root beer in the top no ten. No root beer. Root None. Beer is a good you know why? Soda. I think because there's too many. I think Mugs, Barks, Barks they all A and W. They eat each Stewart's. other's markets. Up. Yeah. Okay. They all. That's my. Each that's other. my guess. I don't. I tr- Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew number okay. five. That number, makes. Mm, Number five. For all the people who drink soda, I would think Mountain Dew would be higher, but um, I can't even name other sodas. Um, Number six is an, and seven. The next two are both varieties of ones we've already named. Cherry Coke. No. Uh, d- Diet Dr. Pepper. No. <laughs> Diet no. Mountain Dew. No. <laughs> Want me to tell you? Seven Up. No. <laughs> I'm out of my sodas. favorite soda. Or you, well, I'm one of my favorite. favorite it's the one I usually get. Generally, typically. Seltzer. Coke Zero. Oh, Coke Zero. See, in my brain, Coke Zero and Diet Coke 
They aren't the same because they're, they're different not flavors. Not the same. That's all one thing. Because <laughs> I don't like Diet Coke that much. Okay, but you like Coke Zero. I like Coke Zero. Okay. Uh, next is Diet Pepsi. Okay. Then Fanta. Then last one, ginger ale, Canada Dry. Huh. It Why? fits. A, it fits a, a niche. But root you know? beer isn't there though. Like I said, but if you're getting ginger ale, you're only getting one ginger ale. True. It's Canada Dry. True. Yeah, you're I, right. Root beer is all the root beers. There's only one Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Um. Wow. Okay. See, <laughs> wasn't this fun? <laughs> but it's also weird to me that like. Diet Coke is there, but because we're, I, I guess if I just order a diet soda, I'm like, hi, can I get a diet Coke? Were you at now? This is a real question Coke or Pepsi household? Coke, uh, my entire 100% life. Coke for us. <laughs> I have never been a Pepsi person. My grandfather was a Pepsi person, but that's because, like, I think they had Pepsi, like, it, he had Pepsi in the war. So Sounds like, terrifying if you're like a Pepsi person. You're a Pepsi person. <laughs> You're like, help, I, my insides are carbonated. Let me tell you, my grandfather, because he couldn't drink caffeine later on in his life, Fresca. You ever had a Fresca? It's a it's a it's a grapefruit citrusy soda. I don't I don't care about that. All right. Well. <laughs> uh, but it is you know it's shaking things up. Yeah. It's also it's bad news for Pepsi, uh, who's who's always been fighting in out of Coke's shadow. Right, and now they're like, oh, they're the third in line. Yeah, it's now like that it really it must be demoralizing for them. Now I wonder. I'm sure that's done something to like their stock market stuff and like Pepsi as a company because could you be. Know, because you, now you're like, you know, that's not a big, like Pepsi's a big company. They own Taco Bell. They own stuff like that. So like, Or the, do they own Taco Bell or is it the company that owns, I don't, I don't know anymore. Owns they're related, they're linked. Which owns, they do. It's, okay. Everything's owned by four things, so it's fine. They're all owned by Disney. But yeah, it's it's wild that like, you know, this soda that's been like the, 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 the something I wouldn't think of the top three sodas is number two. You know what the problem is? Everyone always asks, is Pepsi okay? But nobody's ever asking, is Pepsi okay? Think about it. Now, do you ever say no? When somebody's like, oh, can I order a Coke? Is Pepsi okay? No. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, no, I've never said no. I, just, all right. I take whatever they give me. I usually just say, can I just get a diet cola? <laughs> I don't dislike Pepsi, but I will choose Coke over it 10 out of 10 times. Now, this is another thing, too. When you go to a restaurant, the only diet option has caffeine in it. When you go to a restaurant. And you ask for like, oh, can I have a diet soda? It's always diet cola. I don't know. I can't figure out what point you're making. <laughs> so, like, if you don't want caffeine, but uh, you want diet, uh, you have to have a diet caffeine thing or just water. Yeah. Give me that diet. <laughs> I don't soda. know what to do with this know. information. That's fine. <laughs> what about, no, they don't have diet Sprite, y- y'all usually, think? Because usually most places have, like, six sodas. Hmm. Let me that freestyle, though. Give me a, a Coke Zero Orange. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes those are good. Sometimes the mixes do not like, hit right. Well, because half of the menus are for kids. Or or it's like they don't, uh, like the syrups aren't refilled in the right way. That upsets me and, all the yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. When it's like, you, you're like, oh, let me get a Coke. This is this is water. Yeah, yeah, a while back, it wasn't a freestyle machine, but it was just a fountain machine, and I... I forget what I got, but it was just seltzer. Yeah. I was like, there's just nothing it's just in here. brown water. <laughs> that sucks. <Thanks. laughs> but I will, that's like gotten me to like taste my sodas before I actually like fill it up. I'll like, Shh. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's a smart play. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think that's all I can possibly say that's about I, soda. Yeah. But it is, it's wild that like, you know, because for how many years has it been Coke versus Pepsi? Now, <laughs> all like, of them. Now it's it's the Coke versus Coke Pepsi versus challenge. Dr. Pepper. That's going to be Coke. Or, yeah. Maybe Dr. Pepper. Do you think it has what it takes to go to number one? Yes. You do? It's, but it's, it's one I don't of my think it sodas. does. No, nothing will well, ever Coke, top Coke. Coke it's is like best. a brand that's been like in people's heads for years. Yeah. There's parts of the country that's called soda just Coke. Yeah. It's just too iconic. The what red kind of Coke logo. Do you want? Oh, Sprite. The no, polar Sprite. bears that, that Christmas time yep. and Santa. It, you go to every AMC now. What's in the beginning is a giant Coke ad before Nicole Kidman comes before, on. Right. Well, they, usually they fight. Who? The polar bears and Nicole Kidman. Okay. <laughs> I'd pay to watch that. You have. Um, but, uh, if you say so. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Coke is pretty safe up there. But uh, who knows? Maybe Pepsi's going to be gone. Sure. Maybe they'll leave. Or Pepsi does do a lot of, uh, like, I see them do a lot more, oh, Pepsi Mango and Pepsi well, whatever. Well, they also do, like, the Pepsi Peeps. Pepsi, like, a weird, like, yeah. the, the, the Coke the does it, too, episodes. though. Coke does, like, the dream flavor yeah. and the space flavor, whatever But you know who doesn't? <laughs> Dr. Pepper. The Dr. Pepper. Although they do have, there's a cherry... 
And there's like vanilla. There, there are a couple offshoots. But like normal varietals. They're not going to like chat GPT and be like, what's the next variety of Coke? <laughs> Space. I do like a pib. If I see a pib at a restaurant, I get excited. But I think that's mostly because it's not as common. Right. So I'm like, ooh boy. But I think, I don't know if I did a taste test blind. Mm. If I could tell you the difference between a pib and a pep. You ever had a moxie? I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> it's like a, it's a, it's a Boston like area soda. Then I'm not it's interested. Good. All right. How about, uh, how about Fago? We can't. <laughs> oh, it's we can't Pride Month. That. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm proud to be a juggalo. That's what, the, that's, they like, they love that stuff. I'm don't proud they? to be a juggalo. <laughs> All right. Today's case comes to us from the internet. You can find a link in our episode description. Our defendant today is Tommy. Tommy is a collector of Beyblades, the spinning top toys that debuted in 1999. Look him up if you don't remember. And he decides one day to make a stop at a local GameStop to grab the newest set available. Uh, he is just about to go catch a movie right after this, so he's in a bit of a hurry, but things don't go as smoothly as he hopes. There is another customer ahead of him in line who has taken kind of a long time trying to decide which PS5 controller he wants to buy, asking a lot of questions, making a lot of fuss. So eventually Tommy taps him on the shoulder and says, and I quote, Hey, could you hurry up? I've got a bus to catch, and it's about to leave, and I'd like to get these things before I go. It wouldn't take that long for me to buy them. The other customer asks Tommy to just be patient, but Tommy isn't. He drops his Beyblades and scrams in order to catch that bus. But now, Tommy feels kind of guilty and is worried that he was rude. So as dual judges here on Geeks on Trial, it's our job to determine whether Tommy did good in pursuit of his hobby, or if he should have been better raised by his mommy. Huh. I don't like you saying that word. Mommy? Beyblades. Mommy. 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 We uh, we took a little break. We readjusted my mic, so it shouldn't be an issue anymore. Right. That's called movie magic. <laughs> Except you called it out, and now people know. Well, yeah. Well, otherwise they would be like, what, it just started working on its own? Yeah. Okay. That's the magic. Well, we need to discuss this case. Okay. So... Um, Where do we start? There's, this, is an, this is a layered case because we have, for, also, I didn't mention this, but in the case file, it's made clear that the movie Tommy is going to see is the re-release of Spider-Man No Way Home. So we've got, we've got nerd on nerd on nerd here. We've sure. got Beyblades, GameStop, PS5 controllers, and a Spider-Man movie. The, this, this is a nerdy-ass story, but at the same time... It could also kind of apply to almost any waiting in line situation. So really, we're covering the gamut. The biggest part of the story that I want to break down. Oh. How many different like PS5 controllers are there? (laughs) Because well, color. There's third party controllers, I'm sure. Oh yeah, you're right. Because I was just thinking like, oh, I want the white. No, the blue. No, the red. I don't know. I don't even know if there are different colors to be honest. Other than a blue one. You do. I have like a official blue one. Yeah. Did it come with the system? The system came with a white one. My uh, Danny got the blue one, so we could each have our own controller. I had no idea they had different colors. Yep. I thought maybe that if there was a like a special edition with a game or something, but it's not. I feel like it's not as common as back in the day. A controller would have, you know, like N sixty four every other month right. had a. I guess the Switch, the Joy Cons, they do a lot of different. Yeah, colors. they do. That's what they because that's more you see the Joy-Con. Like, right. you take the Switch out, and it's an, almost like an accessory. A PS5 controller, it's like, I don't give a shit what color it is. <laughs> I would love them to bring back clear things again. That was the, yeah, that, that was, was the that cool was a special era. 2000s clear TVs, style, the Game Boy Advance. Uh, yeah, those, those those were better days. But yeah, it's probably, he's probably got a Mad Cats. So, like, do you, like, so you just, are you, <laughs> are you gotta... okay trusting the stock controllers that come with your consoles? <laughs> That's always the best one, 99% of the time. Unless you're like a pro gamer who is like, you know, has to get the one that has like, okay, I need to get different triggers and different buttons and different things that are like <laughs> well, good for me. If but... you're like a fighting game person and you have right. some weird fighting game controller or, I mean, I do, I have the, it's the brand is 8-Bit Doe and they make pr- pretty oh. good um, wireless Bluetooth controllers, but you can also like use it on your PC and stuff. Right. Um, but that's more of, um, you know, it, it's emulating more of a old school controller. Right. It's for the switch. The one I have versus, 
But also, I just think the PS5 controller is really nice and that's like by far quality. between the. I, I like the, uh, the the Xbox controller that's out now because the one you can connect a PC. I mean, you can all connect a PC. Yeah, but I like that one because like it's it's a good hand feel to me. Hmm. I don't know if I know. I have an Xbox controller for my P, that I use on PC. But it's, I've had it for a long time. I don't know what the if the newer ones are different. Mm. Are I they was, different? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Xbox ever changes their controllers. Well, like the new Sony ones are like radically different. For me, it goes the, Some like extent. the PS5 controller, the Pro <laughs> controller for the Switch, and then the Xbox. Yeah, sure. I could probably uh, get behind that. For some reason, I thought I remembered you not being liking the PS5 controller that much. I like. I don't like the look of it. I think it's the ugliest controller out of all of them because I don't. I don't like the. Um, the trackpad that you mm. don't really use for much mm. in video games, but I really like the um, the passive trigger buttons or whatever they call those, the ones that have the, the the give back on those. Oh yeah, those are great. Yeah, no, that the whatever that version of Rumble the PS5 has right. is really cool. They have like I would say the PS5 has the most technology in their controllers out of anybody right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, Joy-Cons had the HD rumble <laughs> right, on Switch. Right, which was great, but... Jesus. Yeah, but but so PlayStation's got, like, 4K rumble. Right. <laughs> I don't know. But no, I'm not usually going to GameStop and uh, thinking a lot about the control, or I will have done that research at home. Well, let's rewind that. How often are you going to GameStop? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not really That's... going to GameStop. <laughs> I We go to GameStop, like, if I'm in a mall, I'm like, oh, let me go to GameStop just to see what they have. Not even for games, some used games, but, like... Since they bought and then tanked thinkgeek.com, they have all the Think Geek stuff in their stores now. So it's like they have other, it's like the geek store to go look at like stuffed animals, t shirt, like stuff like that. I'm just not going places. Right. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not really ever going shopping unless it's for food or like I have to buy a gift for someone. We'll go to the mall a couple times a year. We'll go to different malls. We'll go to a local mall. I mean, a couple times a year is pretty infrequent. I'd say six times a year we're at a mall. Okay, that's more than a couple. There you that's go. every other month. That's probably every other month we're at a mall <laughs> sometimes. Oh, but don't forget, too, like, you know, a lot of the malls have, like, like our local mall has, like, eight restaurants, like, actual restaurants. So it's like, oh, we're going to this restaurant. We might as well go into the mall. Well, but, and you're also, you're speaking of yourself as two people, a couple. Right. Who, like, you have a desire to go do it's things a, together. <laughs> it's a shitty date night, but it's a date night. But there's not, for me, I'm like, why should I go to the mall? Right. <laughs> I'm not going to go hang out or go to GameStop. You know the mall I have walker? Amazon. You don't go to the mall in the morning and walk in? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a day walker, a vampire. Okay. A preacher But yeah, for most of the time, oh, Wait, I'm... that's the opposite. Whatever. I'm doing my stuff What's on What's that Amazon? movie Daywalkers about? Yeah. People who walk on the We have the internet now. What am I going to support right. a mom and pop store like GameStop? Well, that's <laughs> the thing, too. That. Like, that's a whole different subject. But, like, most of the time I go to a store and they're sold out of what I want. So I'm like, I'll just go to Amazon. Or while I'm in a store, I'll look at the Amazon price. I'm like, oh, it's cheaper. I'll click by. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not on Prime anymore, though. So that does make a difference. It really doesn't. It does if you want free shipping. But everything I buy is over $25. Uh, I feel like mine, it depends on what you buy. If uh, Sometimes not qualified items need $50. Oh, really? They, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it could yeah. matter. All right. <laughs> the Amazon, oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> if you get me sick, I'm going to be really pissed. No, it's just allergy shit. Hmm. I don't know if coughing, is that an allergy thing? Is it? Mm? <laughs> I don't believe you. Look at, he's I'm lying. Right. Look into his eyes, he's lying. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. He's so packing up a freaking lung. what do you know lung. about Beyblades? <laughs> I don't know shit about Beyblades. Neither do I. <laughs> Beyblades, so this is a toy. It's not just a toy. I mean, it is just a toy, but it's not just a thing you collect and spin. They're little tops, but it, there is a game attached to it. Right. I've seen them like at stores and stuff where you could buy like the the arena that they go into and you spin them in. Yeah. And like, I, I've actually, there was a funny time when we were at, um, not the Mall of America, the American Dream Mall in, in New Jersey here. And there was a group of kids playing which I am assuming was Beyblades, some kind of tops game in a thing. So I guess it was Beyblades in the mall. So they must have just went to a store, bought these, and played them right there in the the, the aisle of the mall. I don't know what you call it's it. It's pretty cool. No, it's not. <laughs> Wait, you said, were they kids? or they were, Yeah, like they were kids. middle to high school age, so youth. Now, there was a manga associated with it. I am oh. assuming it turned into an anime at some point. Probably a movie and a ride now. <laughs> Probably, yes, probably a, a theme park and a food stuff. Um, so it it does feel like a very anime thing, like a trading card game of 
like hitting finding your opponent and being like, oh, I unleash my belt of Beyblades and toss the them out. Of you went to is, oh. yeah, that's what they say. No, but but the, the idea was that you're like trying to knock each other's top out right. of the ring, like you're spinning it and like, like seeing how they go. Robot. It seems cool. Like it seems like something when I was cool. in middle school because like it's a tangible thing that you could like spin around. It's like the Matchbox cars or any of those. Have you ever done those? You were like a collectible. I had Hot Wheels. I guess, yeah, same thing. I just, yeah. But yeah. yeah. But like, but you could actually do something with these because like pieces. Now, another question. I'm unpacking this more and more. Are you the type of person who goes into a store? Yes. No. Would you? Oh. Would you ever <laughs> like? Excuse me. Can you hurry up? Yeah. Well, I know your answer. <laughs> Absolutely yeah, not. But I have definitely. Well, I feel like you're, we have even we have more uh, bullshitting to do before we get to that. That's too close to the end of the show. Okay. And if, if we talk, if we say that, then we're, we're done. Do you take <laughs> buses places? <laughs> now we're talking. Actually, have you ever like this is the thing I, I was talking about with somebody the other day. This show like, sucks. The public transportation. <laughs> Turn it off. I have never taken like a bus anywhere, besides like a school trip, like a a rented charter bus. Like, I've never gotten like to a bus stop in a town. And taken a bus to New York or the next town over. Trains, yes. In, I want to say in other countries I have. Oh, I've never left this country. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Public transportation is much better and more, and it's more common. Other countries? Yeah. You're saying U.S. has the really bad. Yeah. Uh, transportation system because we're funded by the gas and oil companies. But also, like fewer people have cars, so they need more buses. Right. Um, I don't know if I've ever really, uh, maybe, I think maybe from, from New York once, maybe did I go on a bus? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Cause like I've always been trained. Like well, you we don't, have... we're in, yeah. in we have cars. <laughs> There's very little like, reason to take a bus. <laughs> if there was a good, re- like I would love to just, Oh, if I'm just going somewhere, like if I was coming here to film today, I'd hop on a bus. Sure. Don't have to pay attention. If, take if it nap. was, if it was viable and close. And it was and... also cheaper too, because I feel like it's, it's expensive i don't know i think bus is the if you're like going across country it's got to be cheaper probably than a train or a plane yeah yeah it's a, probably the cheapest like travel a but it's probably the le- least convenient because you probably have to make a bunch of changes and stops yeah. and stuff like that i don't know i guess i feel like if you're on a bus you're just going <laughs> i don't, I don't know, know what that means <laughs> no like you point a to point b like you don't need to change lines like a there's bus gotta be because i don't i think there's a lot of places where the a bus doesn't go or this bus only goes from here to here then you have to transfer like a train i guess i would think you would because remember because it's not like most people aren't on that bus to go the same place you are they're going to be stopping yeah true you probably stop like a like a train at different stops we don't know we're talking about buses (laughs) logistics listen i was trying to get to the point and you're like let's well i wasn't gonna go that i wasn't gonna go to buses you brought up buses (laughs) buses are interesting to me i was gonna talk about uh, well, I'm glad you're entertained. Uh, more about the fact that Tommy is going to a movie, and he says his plan is to stop and get Beyblades on the way. Mm-hmm. And he, in the case file, I didn't mention this, but he first tries Target, he tries Walmart. He right. GameStop is his third stop because he can't find these new Beyblades anywhere. He has anywhere. to have these Beyblades today. Please don't interrupt me again. Uh, so you're, it's really, Listen. you know, you can see how popular Beyblades are that you got out. Maybe this is a brand new set and they haven't released everywhere yet. I don't know. It's Beyblade X, he says. Oh. Yeah. Elon Musk sponsored him. Uh, so how, if you're going to a movie, what's your, are, are you doing anything like this? Or I guess anywhere. Like if you have some kind of somewhere to be at a time and a place, where do you draw the line of, okay, I got to do this first and then this first. I'm going to stop here on the way, especially if it's a little bit risky if you are if you have to catch a bus. If you're taking your own car, you're more in control of this situation. I'm uh, like, usually I'll go out. Like I go out maybe once every other day to go to the stores or whatever. Like I'm out of my house. This is, we're, we're so different, you and day. I. <laughs> and, but you live alone. What stores? What I, stores are you going to? Like I'll hit up ShopRite or Walmart or what, like I'll do my grocery stores. Like I go multiple times a week to different Multiple times a week yeah. though? So you're just going there and buying like dinner tonight and then you leave? Or dinner for the week. But like I go, don't forget, like when I do grocery you stores. You said every other day. I go to three different grocery stores when I go grocery shopping. This sounds complicated to be you. <laughs> But I also use it as an excuse to like get out of the house. I understand once a week, but three or four times a week food shopping—that just shopping, seems like a pain or in the to ass. Go pick up somebody's medication, 
or have to go to drop off something at the post office. Like I have daily errands. Mailing shit? Man. Who do you what are you mailing? Stuff to parents, <laughs> stuff to people. <laughs> I don't. What decade do you live in? <laughs> Are you taking a horse and buggy? <laughs> I'm taking the bus. Oh well, that um, explains it. Anyway, what were we talking? What was I the don't point remember. of this? <laughs> about about making uh, time. But like, but if I like, if we have a movie to go to, and I, I buy that ticket on Amazon on uh, AMC, and I'm like, yeah. there's a there's a movie at Spider Man No Way Home. I usually I wouldn't see that bullcrap, but I wouldn't. Um, Rude. <laughs> Highly like, acclaimed. Oh, no, I thought mine was the one with the problem. What's I, going on over here? <laughs> but like, I would have a ghost. Um, this is Mike fell, ladies and gentlemen. But I wouldn't plan anything around that. You know, our movie theater is technically half a mile away from our house. So it's like, I'll plan to do other things throughout the day. I also don't like work a real job. So like, I can plan to you go need to tell do people other that. things <laughs> and like, you know... I have my full day before I go, but like if it's like a, a task thing, if I, or if like, okay, let's just boil it down to like, if I go to the city, it's like, oh, I need to get on the bus or the, the, the train to get home. That I, I leave myself like a lot of time to get to the train station. Sure. Sure. You know, but I'm also the kind of person who goes to the airport three hours beforehand. So, you know, three but hours like, is too long, but, but yeah, I won't plan. Like I won't be like, Okay, so yeah, maybe I have a half an hour to get to this thing. No, because especially for a bus and something that's like, oh, it might only show up every hour, and there's like a chain of commands, I won't mess with it. If I'm near a store, like, oh, the bus stop is near a GameStop, I'll run in and see if they have the Beyblades. <laughs> but I'm not being like, okay, wait, there's three other stores in this area. Let me run around, because I'm also, like, I'm not going to be the type of person who's going to run to get to my, my next destination and, like, Speed it up. <laughs> I know that about you. Like I'm not going to chase down my bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, I'd rather go and you're like, like I'm late. Oh well, I guess I'll just walk. <laughs> well, no, I'd rather go to a place and have go with plenty of time. I'd right, rather right. be early going to like a train station, a right. bus stop, a movie theater. But I also think you're the kind of I do think you're the kind of person who, even if you're if you're not on time, you're like. I'm not going to try to make up for it. Am I wrong? <laughs> I well, unless it's you. like, if it's like a bus or it's like, or it's like a, we have a train mm. to catch. If it's like, oh, I need to get there in like, so and it's not like a, um, I can't get another one for an hour. Yeah. I'll, I'll speed. I'll, I'll walk a little bit quicker. You're, you're more of the tortoise than the hare. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Because you know, the next one, I'm not criticizing what you. Do you, what, you know, what's the next, but you're also the, the opposite of I am like you, you don't like just sitting somewhere idly. <laughs> Uh, it depends on the context, I guess. But I mean, I, yeah, I, I, and it depends on what we're doing. But like, if I have something I need to be for, there's an anxiety in me that's like, uh, I'm, I'm walking fast. I'm going to get there. I want to like, be there. Let's use the airport, for example. Like for me to get to an air, like I like getting there early so I can sit there and relax before, like there's anxiety Getting to a place. Oh yeah, I mean, I hate like, going to the I airport. need to. Well, yeah, the airport is awful in general. <laughs> but like, you know, I, I I I like sitting there and chilling before I get on my flight. Sure. I mean, I'll have but a, that's a different book or anxiety. something. Well, uh, yeah, not just like. <laughs> sit- <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll I do I do a two hours for the airport. Depends uh, on what kind of flight. But, I mean. but even then, I'm always like, I didn't need to be here. It's it was fine. But then it's like in your. I brain, got to security like, in five minutes. Who cares? I know. But it's like, is that one time in your head? That's like yes. one time that got stuck. Yeah. The one time it'll happen is when it when you don't do it. Um, uh, but I, the one stop that I'll maybe make before a movie specifically mm. is. Uh, somewhere to buy candy to sneak in my pockets. You don't support theater <laughs> concessions? No! You're not the person who's going to spend $7 on Reese's Pieces no. and go to the dollar store for a buck twenty-five. No! I'm the no. guy on the AMC A-list who is making sure I get as much out of it as I can and I don't buy concessions. AMC hates me. Good job. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a high that's gavel a high five. High gavel five right there. Yeah, I'm that person too. Like if I, I'll, I mean, I usually get the, the popcorn and soda at the theater, but like for candy and stuff, it's like, I can get this elsewhere. But so I have been in this scenario where sometimes I'm cutting it close because I'm not always the best planner, especially when if it's just me. Right. It's different if other if I'm meeting someone or if someone else is involved. Yeah. But if it's just me, I'll definitely leave probably as late as I can or two last minute than I should. And then I have been done that before. I have been done that. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't done that. <laughs> and been in line for trying to buy my one candy bar. Right. 
And and I at and least you know, once I have had to go forget it. I can't. I'm gonna. See, I don't want to miss this movie. I gotta go. Then let me tell you this. I drop my candy and I run. <laughs> and he <laughs> throw a, it at someone. He actually opens it and too. And I just, bolt. That's why I like self checkout. <laughs> this is with self checkout. <laughs> where are you at? Where you're waiting for self checkout? The Walmart that is next to the movie theater that I go to. Sometimes, there? yeah. Sometimes there's a there's. 15 See, that's another thing between like sometimes where they I don't live. have any registers open and it's just self checkout. We got the finger going. <laughs> so mm-hmm. you know how you always mm-hmm. like you throw shade at my neck of the woods, which is right because it's, it's a you nightmare. mean Kentucky, Florida, <laughs> Brick Tucky. Where do you live? Um, everyone in my area is all old and only uses real checkout lanes. <laughs> so you have the free reign. I just walk into self checkout and I go, I want that one. <laughs> no, specifically. This is very specific to me because when I do this, it's, it is a Walmart that is right next door. No, I know. Yeah. And, That's a, not a, mm-mm. and it's, yes, it is often they have like only one or two yeah. real registers open and you're standing for self-checkout. And people are in there with like 15 items. And I'm like, I just got, I'm like this guy. I'm like, all I want to do is give you this thing and get out of here. See, that's why I also can I like, do? like places like CVS or Walgreens yesterday, not getting, it's, it's less expensive, but it's it's a smaller store. Yeah. But for you, I know exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. what you're talking it's, it's about. It's literally right next door. That's that's the right. only reason that I'm choosing it. Um, but let's so so now let's let's bring it back. So we I sympa so I sympathize with Tommy in some respects. Right, because he's trying to get to a place. He's like, I have shit to do. <laughs> Why are you agonizingly going over the the controllers? Why didn't you do your research at home? But to now answer your question from 45 minutes ago, right? I would not tap him on the shoulder. Oh, God, no. Because I would never <laughs> oh, God, pro- no. talk to a stranger in this way. I-, I assume you're the same way is what you're indicating. I wouldn't point and like, but I would be like. <sighs> <laughs> Passive aggressive is what yeah. you would be. Now, here's what I might do. But that's if they like my boiling point gets to like, if, it's, if I'm like yes. in line for like 20 minutes and it's like. Well, I know or, go ahead. when I'm late for something, I do get like, not like, mad, but I get anxious. I get yeah. like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I get in a bad mood. <laughs> no, like you're, like you're, you're, you're not, you're a watch. Like, okay, we, we need to, we have. And I'm always like, oh, if I get, if it's like five minutes, I'm okay. Oh, uh, I only have one minute now. Oh my God. Um, and then you're planning, okay, if I run, I could just steal this. How much jail time would I have? Like what I might kind of do, and it depends. I'm thinking, you know, GameStop is usually relatively quiet right. these days. <laughs> Nobody's going to them. Right. Uh, I might try to like make eye contact or get the attention of the cashier yeah. to kind of be like, and I might, if they look, if they do look at me in a sympathetic way, I might go, is it okay if I just, all, I just want to really quick, just if I could just right. squeeze in. Kind maybe? of bypass the person. Like they're not even or there. Or like, is there another register? Could I just really quick? Cause I just really need now, to. Now I do side, like I've worked retail jobs before. So I always side with the employee in this situation. Customer's always right. I say, uh, Ooh, no. Um, <laughs> Uh, the corporation's always right. That's oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel bad because, like, you know, they are dealing with this person who are like, should I go for the red, the blue controllers? But, like, the, at what point does the employee go, can you, uh, here, step to the side, and I'll take the next person? <laughs> but also, only at GameStop is this really, ha- like, isn't there a wall of controllers they can look at and not be in line? Yeah, I don't understand that. Unless it, now, I'm also They thinking, do have some stuff on the wall behind them. This is, like, New York. Or something like in my brain, this is like a city. It must be a, a city. If they're where it's like a bus. everything's behind locked key, like something. Yeah. Or is this like that guy? Because there's always, there's always that person that's in a comic book shop, a GameStop, or a geek store, who it's like you can tell they come there every day, and 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 shoot the shit with the people behind the counter, and are like talking about <laughs> controller. Oh, well, did you see the new controllers came out this week? And like, I feel like it's like also that kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the question is: There a line in the oh, sand? Yeah, the how long? Here. He's right. Is there a line of how long it takes where you shift allegiance from one person to the other? Where it's like, okay, that is unreasonable. It all depends. I don't know because he does not specify. He's like, I think he uses the phrase "was well, taking forever" in the case file or something like that. Like a minute, like how long is forever? Is yes, it? is it? Was he there for two minutes? But right. I mean, two minutes could seem like a long time if you're standing in line and the guy is just looking at controllers. Right, that could be and he's long. Not purchasing? Are there other people behind him? Right. Is there like a whole line of people right. or just even? Is that? I mean, that's worse. But even if it's just one. That could still be annoying. Right. Like you do, 
I would not want to be that guy. I wouldn't be that. I'd hold, I'd try not to be either of these guys. <laughs> well, yeah, because if I'm the guy at the counter and I'm trying to, I'd be like, oh, you can take the next person. Right, right. Before right. I figure this out, let me step aside because we are um, self aware people I'm, around us. I'm, yeah, I, well, I'm, I'm just too afraid of. I don't want to ruffle any feathers in public. But it's not even that though. It's like you just don't want to be like made not attention to, but like you don't want like. Yeah, I don't, don't want to be that guy. Somebody. Right, and like they're you know, I don't know who like. I've dealt with this person a lot. It's usually like a certain age, unfortunately. <laughs> but like I've dealt with this. Like I hate when I go to like the yep. I hate when I go to like the fifteen items or less aisle, and someone just walks up with like a full cart. <laughs> and it's like you know you're not supposed to be like. But nobody. If the employees don't say anything, then you don't have a right to say anything. That's what I think a lot of times. Yeah, like it's not my job to. I don't know about no rights, but I'm certainly not gonna. <laughs> because like I always hate because there's always that person when you're in a line at a grocery store. Oh uh, yeah. There's always that person behind you going, "I gotta go somewhere," or like you know right. something. And it's like that just makes you feel awkward, and it's like it's not always your fault as the yeah. person's holding up the line. Yeah. And then it's like in your head, it's like, well, why? Why are you so effing important? Like, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's why it's like it's like I think of both sides, but like. If the person standing at the register trying to make a decision is just trying to make a decision mm. and it's been like five minutes, that's a long time. Now, is there a better way, though, for Tommy to have phrased this? Because, mm. like, he, again, from the wording, I read it before verbatim, I don't remember, but it, it, I don't think he said, excuse me, or, hey, I'm sorry to bother you, or would you, like... Uh, let, let me check. Let me okay. ch- like check the exact wording. But I feel like there is a more like polite way to go about well, it. Well, the other way around it is literally what you said. Excuse me. Do you have another register open? Right. So it's kind of passive aggressive, <laughs> but it's also like asking an employee, hey, is there somebody else working here? Can you guys open another register? Is there another way I can pay for my single item? I'm ready. Like this, the initial quote, hey, could you hurry up? That's a little rough. That's too aggressive. Because I imagine there was like, hey, can you? <laughs> it should, like, the 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 approach is, I'm, hey, I'm so sorry. Would you mind? I just, I'm really in a hurry and I don't, I right. don't, I'm not trying to rush you, but would it be okay if I just really quick just buy this one thing? I would say in any situation like this, hey, listen, yo. <laughs> Or, like, fighting words. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, listen, can you hurry? Like, and remember, this is usually when you're the defendant and you're pleading your own case. If anything, right. you'd assume he's trying to make himself look better. Right. So this isn't, he didn't, if he's doing that, then that means it possibly was even worse. And that's, what you just told me kind of, like, sways my story a little bit. Because I always am like, oh, the guy at the counter is, you know, doing stuff and, 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 and holding up the line. There's a cat playing with a toy. I don't know if you can hear it on mic. But she's having a good time. Keep going. <laughs> but, like, you know, you, you, but you don't know what's going through that guy's head. Like, did, has the, the guy in line seen him here? Or did, we don't know if the person picking up controllers has been here for 30 seconds, just showed up. Yeah, if if yeah. the employee's a poor employee and they're like, I don't know, we just got this. Well, what do you, like, you know, like, so yeah. there, there is some stuff on it, but the second one, he's like, hey, can you, like, that, what he said kind of irks me a little bit. Mm. What do you think? Should we verdict? I'm, I'm going to let you go first. <laughs> oh, you will let me go first? I'm going to let you go first. All right. I will give you the honors. Um, This is tricky because, like I said, I think there's a lot of little details that, are, like, make me reconsider my position right. one way or the other as I think about this case. I do sympathize with Tommy. And I feel like I understand his urgency. I do think he probably could have planned this a little better, but I've been in his shoes, so I have I get it. I know how this can be. And if he doesn't have a car, if he's relying on bus travel, then maybe it's not convenient for him to be able to come back here. So I'm testing your reflexes. It's not convenient for him to come back here after the movie. I don't know what his situation is. Right. Um, so I sympathize with him, and I, but I also, and I do think that probably this guy probably was taking too long of a time, which can be annoying. Could have. And I don't think there's anything wrong necessarily. I don't, or certainly it's not the most egregious offense to say, "Hey, could you hurry up?" But a big part of it is that phrasing. Is that is? 
is that it just yeah. it sound it comes off as a little pushier than I would like. Because saying, "Hey, can you hurry up to somebody?" You don't know their whole situation. Yeah, maybe they physically yeah. can't hurry. Whose up. verdict is like, this right now? But mine uh-huh. or yours? I just wonder. Well, you're taking a long time. Oh, I see how it is. Are you going to tap me on the shoulder? <laughs> I'm honestly really kind of split on this because I. It's, I don't know. I don't know how I feel, but I have to make myself come up with a verdict. You do. That's part of the show. That's our job. Is Tommy guilty for saying, hey, could you hurry up? I got to go. So I must come to a verdict. I think ultimately I was going somewhere with this. I had something in my head. It's left now, but I'm going to I'm going to conjure it again. I think. Ultimately, this situation is one of Tommy's own making. Hmm. And while I do sympathize with him, I am very split on this. I think if I have to come down one side or the other, I don't have to. I can do whatever I want. But I'm going to I'm gonna call him just a little over the edge on the guilty side. Not like it's not the most horrible thing anyone's right. ever done. Certainly not even on our own show that we've judged. But I got to come down on the side. I'm going to call him guilty. So he's guilty of being a nuisance? Of being rude, of, 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 of pestering someone when he could have just maybe been more patient or, or planned his day better. So that's my whole thing with this, is that he has the right, he has the option, just as this next person is, any person in line gets X amount of, gets, gets some time one-on-one with the, the, the clerk, the store employee, the cats in the background, anything like that. But, you know... He has a bus to catch. He has Beyblades to buy. He has a movie to see. Nothing's like... I got th- people to meet Beyblades to buy. <laughs> are these Beyblades, Bay- Beyblades life and death? No. Like, it's not like this is his food for the day. He can get this elsewhere. Like, I'm not trying to downplay that these are a thing. No, don't downplay the significance of Beyblades, Beyblades please. But, like, nothing's stopping him from being like, oh, I gotta go. Let me put this down and leave. He can get these elsewhere. He can order them online real quick. He's not going to be playing them for the next hour and a half or three hours, depending on how long a bus drive is, seeing a movie. There might be another place on the way that might have them, more of them, better ones. If he were to like maybe say something to the cashier, which if this was a better cashier or a cashier who was more attentive or could step away and be like, I could take the next customer while this person is saying, or GameStop, hired enough employees to fill a store to have another employee come up to the front, that would be fine. Like if, if he went to the employee and said, is there another register open? It was the wording that he said to this person to kind of like belittle their time in the store. Mm -hmm. He's kind of making it like my time right now is more important than yours. So can you hurry this up? And that's where I kind of get like, not saying he's a jerk about this, but like a jerk kind of vibe of like, I'm getting a Larry David here. I'm getting like that kind of like. <laughs> Larry David is always right, but you can continue. Well, but like kind of like a, it's my time to hurt, like go. It's, it's this actually, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, it's fine. Just go. Just but, go. Um, <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's my time is more important than yours. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting out of this. So I, I'm saying that um, he's not not guilty, right? That's what you, you said? I said he's guilty. He's guilty. Yeah. You, sorry. <laughs> He's guilty of we're judges of this. He's guilty. I usually have a monitor in front of me with all this information. Uh-huh. He's guilty of of this. <laughs> of this of wasting time specifically of this of 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 being. We're uh, really guilty of that, aren't we? Of what? Wasting everyone's time. Of for what? Wasting everyone's time. Everyone for this show. Huh? Let's take a moment of silence. Most people aren't listening to it, so that's fine. They aren't wasting most people's time. Don't be so negative. I on our still own show. though. That's what people like. It's called self-deprecation. Oh. I I don't huh. I don't I'm not that mad at Tommy. I called him guilty, but I really don't. I, I think he was in a rush. He could have been more polite, but I'm like, I get it. I get it. But like you're saying, oh, he could have found this anywhere. I don't know. Maybe the Beyblades are. Maybe these are rare. Maybe they're not in no, every store. Maybe he's afraid someone else will buy them and he can't get them. I don't know what it is. But. He also should have planned time better. Yeah, are, are you yeah, sure? yeah, yeah. He probably yeah, could have looked yeah. on Amazon while running to, not Amazon, on uh, online just to see, hey, does the does store have them? Or call the store. But it would piss me, like if somebody was behind me and was like, hey, can you hurry up? 
I'd be like, really? <laughs> but wouldn't you also be annoyed in his case with the person in front of you too? Yes, but <laughs> no I'm, matter what, we're annoyed. <laughs> but yeah, because you know we're we're in just in life <laughs> society. And do, I'm assuming this is in the U.S. Yeah, it must be. What do I? No, actually, no. Uh, no, he does. He actually specifies. I, I forgot. I believe it's in Canada. Oh, it is Canada. They're nicer in Canada. Is he not from Canada? <laughs> yeah, sorry. In Canada, this is doubly guilty right. for even uh, trying anything like this. And they still call EB Games there. Electronics but, um, Boutique. Electronic boutique. Yeah, so it is interesting to me that's like, you know, on both sides, I would be like, whatever. But I'm more so like the employee should have like, if they could have, been like, I can take the next person. Yeah. Yeah, I just yeah, I, I'm not like like I said, I'm coming down kind of guilty for like you said, could have planned it better. But it was really just the things way he happen. said it. Yeah, the, the the wording of how he said it, and I'm assuming he typed this wording into his his case file. Right. It might have been worse. <laughs> right. Could have been. It was very detailed. Like, there's no way he wrote down exactly. Right. There's no way he remembered this exact right. exchange. Uh, but anyway, we have decided, which means we do have to come up with a punishment for Tommy. But like I said, I don't I don't really feel that bad. I don't think he deserves death penalty. No. I would maybe just say um, waterboarding or something. What about oh, you? Oh, no. He has to work at a GameStop. Well, nobody wants that. I, that's that's <laughs> He has to work at a GameStop and be the sole employee on Beyblades Day. Which oh. all we, we all know Beyblades Day is Wednesday. What about this? How about he? we've set up a giant arena mm-hmm. and he has to be... Uh, put into a contraption and become a human Beyblade. And against other people, he's spun around furiously and smashed into others. And he could very well, it's very dangerous. He could die. We turn this into a real sport. That's very, very harmful to people because it'll actually hurt your skin. There's metal and actual blades and you could get knocked out. It's like maybe on a, some kind of a cliff side and you could get knocked out of the ring and die. No, <laughs> I'm setting this in motion. Actually, that's I would watch that. Would, Everyone yeah, would. Why would. Everyone would. My bay is blade. Let us know what you think about this case. I feel like it's it's there's some nuance here, and I'm not yeah. sure where people will land. I also want to know where they land on Beyblades, PS5 controllers, and Spider-Man No Way Home. And GameStop. And buses. All of the above. Well, not buses. You can email us, geeksontrial at gmail.com, or leave a comment on YouTube. And if you want to submit your own geeky case for us to settle on the show, we'll do that. Whether it's about uh, some kind of a collectible, hobby, toy, video game, movie, anything like that, email us, geeksontrial at gmail.com, or check out the show notes. You'll find a link where you can fill out a form, send it to us that way. It's a keyboard. And if... Oh, that's a keyboard? That's a keyboard. You got the, oh, I thought, the, I thought this was the keyboard. I'm playing a flute. Oh. And if you want to help the show out and get him some really good flute lessons so he can play flutes or, you know, some other stuff. skid flute. Head, head, head on over to, to, to patreon.com slash geeks on trial. Five bucks a month uh, helps us out a long way. Also, if you want to help us out for free, keep watching the show. Like us on, uh, on uh, the YouTube. Uh, subscribe. Give us the five-star rating on your audio platforms of choice. And it'll be a it'll be a great time for all. Hey, <laughs> Jonathan. Yeah. Where can people find you online? Hey, you can follow me online at my website jonathanestes.com. Find me on Blue Sky at Jonathan Estes. Uh, I do other stuff, podcasts, YouTube videos. You can find it all there if you like me. There's more of it. How about you? Oh, you can find me at ivanhan.com and uh, YouTube.com/slash the snack guy, where I review snacks for you. New kinds of Pepsi or Dr. Pepper, maybe? Only Pepsi or Dr. Pepper. I'm, I'm switching over to... Actually, I'm only going to review Pepsi to make them go back up to number two. <laughs> oh, you're you're in their pocket. I am in their Pepsi. In the pocket of Big Pepsi. <laughs> pocket. And uh, until next time, my name's Ivan Hahn. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is yet another case that we've closed. Hi, Gavel. <laughs> Come on. There that's, we go. That's better.